A woman whose son died after falling from a hotel balcony in Mallorca has travelled back to the island to raise awareness of the possible dangers for young people on holiday. Freddie Pring was 20 when he died back in June in the holiday resort of Magaluf. Here's Sarah Corker. Freddie's smile could light up any room. He brought joy to everybody. When he died, part of me died. Heather Pring has come back to Magaluf to see where her son Freddie died. It was his first night staying at this beachfront hotel when something went tragically wrong. How could he have fallen on his own? Which balcony was it? So he's on the second floor and it's the third one out. So you can just see the corner. His friends were asleep in his room and he was on his own and gone out onto the balcony, had sat at the table on chairs and unfortunately I'd either fallen asleep or tripped and had the fatal accident. This popular party resort attracts hundreds of thousands of young British tourists every year. Heather wants to warn holidaymakers about the dangers of balconies and the number of people falling from them. And most of them is from a tragic accident, dying alone, not with groups of people, not mucking around. She first came to Magaluf in June to bring Freddie's body back to the UK. The Foreign Office in Spain say most balcony accidents happen in Ibiza, Mallorca and Menorca. In 2016, there were 12 serious or fatal falls from height. In 2017, there were nine. But last year, the number increased to 24 falls, including seven deaths. The vast majority of those who died were alone at the time. Most of them are sort of 18 to 30. Clearly when you're young, you're going on what could be your first holiday together with your friends. It's not about putting a downer on their holiday. We want them to come and have a great time, but just stick together, look out for each other and be aware there can be dangers. Some hotels in Magaluf are now putting British tourists in ground floor rooms for their own safety. I don't want any other person to ever deal with the grief that I've had to do because losing a child is unbearable. If I can just raise awareness, just to save one person's life and make people just aware of any kind of balcony safety um, or just even just staying in groups and looking after each other. Freddie was a keen rugby player and his family have set up a memorial fund in his name to support sportsmen and women. And Heather says one of the most heartbreaking things is that she may never know how or why Freddie died that night. Sarah Corker, BBC News in Magaluf.